another day, another 25 days of Tax Fridays challenge. This time is for day 10. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you have all the details down in the description box so you can participate, it's never too late. If you're here because you're stuck or you want to know how I did it, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to do it without DAX and then we will do it with DAX and then we will know if we're getting it correctly or not. So, to do it without DAX, it's a bit tricky, but it is everything is possible. So, we're going to first find the customer. So, customer name, take it from the customers. Customer name, not the suppliers. Customer name is North and South. North and South. There we have him. And it says how many days since the last purchase, last purchase, order date. So we're going to put our order date in the table. Order date. So we can see that North South has three orders or, or order on three days. You could have multiple orders on the same date. We don't care about that. So the last order date is actually on November the 10th. Now, North Wind is alive, so your date might be a little bit different. The number of days won't be, though, but the date might be a bit different. Don't worry about that. Um, so, when I'm doing this, this is the last time they purchase something. So, how do we check how many days since today's date? Today's date, for me, is the 22nd of November. So, I'm going to go to Excel and check it. So, I downloaded the data in Excel. I have here today's date which is my today's date, your today's date, obviously it's going to be different. And then I need to know the difference from this to this, which in Excel is just one minus the other. And the answer is 12 days. So when we're doing DAX, we should get 12 days. Okay, let's go back to Power BI. Okay, so how do we do it with DAX? It's actually quite simple. Let me show you. So we go into my measures table. Yes, I'm using a measures table, don't be shocked. And I'm doing a day 10. The first thing that we're going to calculate is the last purchase that was made by the customer. So to do that, you calculate the last purchase, so it's the last date of the order state. That's our purchase date, right? So it's the last date of the order's date for our customer. So customer name, company name, be careful which, which you pick. Uh, north, south. You can put actually uh, customer ID in case there is a risk that you will get uh, same name for different customers. And then we're going to do return and check what this thing does. Last purchase. Okay. I need to put it in a card. The result that you see is in a card, so I need to have it in a card. So, as you can see, it is correct, it's the 10th of November. Remember, yours will be slightly different depending on what you're doing the challenge. So, this is good. Now, I need to have the difference between this date and today's date. Today's date for me is the 22nd of November. Okay, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to do date div. And date div starts with first date first and then last date, which is today, and then in days. And we have 12 days. Okay? So, again, you have to tell me. Give me strength. Are you enjoying the challenges? How many do you have right? Do you have all in a row? Oh my god, that would be amazing. Tell me how is it going. I'm really, really curious. I will see you again tomorrow with day 11. We still have a lot to go. We still have a lot to go. But I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.